Hey guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my living room. As you can see, we have a 55 inch TV. It's a Samsung. We've had it for about four years. It's been great. It's been fairly reliable. The UI is a little slow though, but that's most non Roku or Fire TVs. Anyway, this has been a great display. It looks good, sounds good, but it's a little small. We wish we had a 65 inch TV and we actually have for the past three years. We've had an LG 65 inch. We've had a Hisense 65 inch and a second Hisense 65 inch of the same model. The reason why why is because the first one, my sister broke. The second one actually um, glitched out and the screen started showing artifacts. So we returned that one. Um, thankfully, Walmart actually gave us a full refund on it. So this is the one from my mom's bedroom that we've had um, ever since we bought this house. So we are gonna put in a new 65 inch TV and we wanted something with Roku because Roku makes it much easier. It's much more reliable than, we actually found on Walmart for about 400 bucks, a 65 inch Roku branded TV. Um, they actually had it on Amazon, and I think it was a little cheaper on Amazon, about like 10 bucks cheaper, but they didn't have it until like April, and it's March 28th right now. So we got one from Walmart, same model, just different website. So what we're gonna do is swap out this one for this one. Let me pull this one into frame. Here we go. So this is the Roku Select Series 65 inch 4K HDR. Uh, it's got stuff. <laughs> it works with AirPlay, HomeKit, Alexa, and Google. Um, so that's good. So let's move this out of the way again. First off, let's start with um, getting this Samsung out of here. Let's unplug it from the back. Ooh, this is a little heavier than I remember it being. The other TVs are a lot lighter for some reason, even though this one's not that large. <laughs> See, maybe that goes to show the quality of the Samsungs versus the other ones because our LG TV, 10 inches larger, weighed less or about the same. So that's definitely interesting to see that weight discrepancy. Okay, I have no clue what that power cord does <laughs> or what it's connected to. Oh, maybe it was the sound bar. Okay, that might make more sense. All right, now let's open this Roku TV, um, Roku branded TV right here. Let me get the ooh, get the box into frame a little better. As you can see here, it's not the it's not the most taken care of box. There's a lot of dents. I think there's a strap missing right here. Some things. This was just haphazardly like thrown halfway on our porch. It was like hanging off the porch at like a diagonal angle. And as you can see on the back, it's dented really bad right there. I need a knife of some sort or scissors. Scissors work. Thank God this isn't on TikTok. Otherwise it'd be removed in two milliseconds. All right, cut the strap, slice it. Yes, I'm cutting towards myself. Shut up. <laughs> All right, open. Okay, so in here we have the the two legs. Um, they are separate from the TV. Look at that. And then we got the standard um, Roku remote. These are this is the same remote that you get on every Roku TV ever. It's the exact same. Well, maybe this one's a little thicker. Oh, this one might be different actually. This I think this one has like a voice control in it, I think. Similar design though. Also comes with um, screws for the feet and batteries for the remote, which are completely unbranded. Oh no, they're not. Tenergy, never heard of that before. <laughs> Hopefully they don't blow up. What does this say? Read before removing TV from box. Roku happy streaming. All right, this is the Select Series 4K HDR TV Quick Start Guide. Oh, it comes with Roku stickers. I heart Roku. It's like Apple, but worse. Um, you got like a little pamphlet of some things. And then this is like, oh, other Roku products. Okay. Now here's the Quick Start Guide. Um, what's in the Quick Start Guide? Yeah, just put batteries in it, pair on a soft surface, connect the TV, blah, blah, bling, bling, blah, blah, plug into things, 75 inch power module cable. Phillips head screwdriver, okay. All pretty standard. All right, let's pull. So does the bottom, yes, that is separate now. Hopefully this doesn't end badly because I'm doing this by myself. <laughs> nope, foam, foam stay here. All right, I'm gonna, how do I do this without it falling? All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this up against this thing right here, just so it has something to like fall towards if it does. All right, pull this off. This is scary. I don't know where it is. Okay, there it is, I see it. <laughs> okay, there we go. This is just a foam insert. Oh, that's a lot of static electricity. <laughs> Cardboard. <laughs> it's falling. It's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Oh no. Get that out of the way. Okay. Let's get the... Oh, that was just a box. That's fine. All right. So we got some tape here. Some more tape over here. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's got cardboard protecting the screen. I don't think I've seen that on any other TV. It's normally just like a plastic wrap. So that's nice that they put cardboard over it so it actually protects the display. 
All right, let's lift this out. The foam insert just came with it, which is fine, I guess. Okay, pull this off. It actually has like a, a power cable like attached to the back already, which is interesting. So then I gotta like lay this thing down to put the feet on it. On the back we have USB, LAN, Ethernet, um, composite input, HDMI, four HDMI inputs. One of them is eARC for the sound system. You can plug in a headphone. There's a headphone jack. There's a cable TV input and there's an optical output. Um, which I'm assuming is like, I think it's Toslink or something similar to Toslink. It's got the same connector as Toslink. So I need a Phillips head screwdriver. So let me grab one from my kitchen drawer. That'll work. I was looking for the nicer one, but I guess this one will work. My cat is licking my tripod. <laughs> where's the, oh, there it is. I was like, where's the feet? <laughs> okay, let's get all this out of the way because I'm gonna trip on that if I don't. Yeet. Oh, okay. All right, open up the, that almost fell on my foot. All right. Ooh. I am very uncoordinated today. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one of these tech videos. <coughs> tech videos, it's almost been three months and my microphone is dying. Uh-oh, that's not good. Okay, we're switching to the iPhone built-in microphone because my receiver was dying for my microphone, which is stupid because it's been in its freaking charging case the whole time. Technology. <laughs> I love it so much and then I hate it so much at the same time. Oh no, the screw. I thought I said it came with more than six. Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's just put this thing on. A little peel tab, and then we'll put, um, where the feet go? Oh, they go over here. I thought the picture showed them they were close to the middle. This looks very, very similar, almost identical to the Hisense TV. It probably is actually the same TV. Um, okay, so you just have these three screws right here. And then these are all your inputs on the back. Okay, so let's flip the TV off of its face. This cardboard is about ready to pull away, but we're not gonna pull it away yet. Um, let's actually put it up on its little home here, its little stand. Yeah, this and that Samsung weigh about the same, even though, whoa, even though this is about 10 inches larger. Oh, it's, oh no, it just falls away. It's just a big sheet of cardboard. Yoink. Energy guide, $33 a year. Jesus, that's like 10% of the TV price. <laughs> okay, let's peel. Actually, we'll wait for that. We'll, we'll save that until the TV's on. Now, before we pair the remote, let's peel. All right, let me actually realign the camera. There we go. <laughs> now you guys can see it, but there we go. Now it says pair my remote. You guys couldn't see any of that, could you? Oh, well, it's just a basic TV. You just plug it in and that's about it. This, now it says to pair the remote, AKA put the damn batteries in it. So that's what I'm gonna do. The batteries. Oh, a brand I've never heard of. I don't they just give you energizers. They'll last a heck of a lot longer anyway, but these are probably cheap. At least they're 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 purple, so they, they match color-wise, which is kind of cool. So we put them in the back of the Wiimote. Not the Wiimote, the remote. <laughs> this ain't a Wii. That, that, like that. And put the cover back on. There we go, pairing remote. Peel that off. You guys can't see what that says because it's way overexposed. Oh yeah, we have to peel the plastic off. I forgot about that. Peeling plastic. Here we go. Oh no, it's not plastic. It's just tape on the edges. I thought it was plastic the whole way around. I guess that's why the cardboard is there. Ah, it's sticking to me. Okay. Perfect. All right, English, home use, please. Uh, wireless connection, oops. Set up new wireless connection. Wireless connection, internet, there we go. Internet, we have internet, which is nice. Checking for new software, update available, okay. Um, so now it's gonna install an update. I like, I do like, oh, this has a headphone jack on it. That's nice. The remote actually has a headphone jack and the volume buttons are on the side like an iPhone, although they're on the wrong side that an iPhone would be on. But from this distance, the colors, well, on camera, it doesn't look that good, but in real life, they actually look pretty good. Just from this purple, it looks pretty good. And um, I can't see any pixels from this distance. Now, obviously, if I get like this close then I can see it, but. <laughs>
it might make a difference. But if you're if you're gonna be gaming, just get like a Samsung TV with 120 hertz. That'll look a lot better than this anyway. This is definitely a budget device um, compared to, you know, a Samsung. So for this one, I'm gonna turn off the camera so there's not even a chance of getting it on recording. Okay, so I think my mom just accepted the email. I, I texted her and asked her to accept it. And now it's doing some remote control. It says it gives you a battery thing for the remote. That's nice, I like that. It's automatically engaging warp drive, it said. Supercharging your system, opening stream gates. It's got a lot of things. There we go, let's connect your devices. Everything is plugged in and turned on. Well, let me turn on the sound bar. Uh, HDMI 1 is soundbar, HDMI 2 is nothing as of yet, uh, nothing, AV is not plugged in, okay, or HDMI AV, AV is not plugged in, okay, there we go, oops, <laughs> I backed out of the tutorial, but um, Roku TV I find really simple, you just got uh, all your different apps right here, and actually go to YouTube and probably pull up one of my videos on it and we'll see how it looks on this display. All right, so let's search my latest car review on my car review channel, Van Sucks at Everything. Oh look, there's the tech channel right here. Oops, ah, oh, dang it, backed out of it. I, I do like the Roku TV D-pad. It makes it super quick to type in, like I can do this really quickly. There we go, Van Sucks at Tech, there's my Tech, tech channel, there's a Steam Deck video for you guys. This is the Valve Steam Deck, a device that I have obtained, obtained? Pos possessed, here's the actual one. I don't think you guys know how excited I am. So funny story, this was actually supposed to come The speakers sound pretty Monday, decent for Saturday. TV so speakers. I mean, my microphone's not the best because I was recording with my iPhone mic, but yeah, the microphone's not bad. It's actually, or not the microphone, the speakers are not bad, they're decent. Truck. Just look at this thing. It's like the most insane possible vehicle they could have created. But anyway, the TV itself is good. It looks good. The speakers sound decent enough. As good as I would say a mid range TV can sound. Um, also, let's try the voice detect. Um, oh, hold the button. Search for Van Sucks at Tech on YouTube. Okay, we'll see if it finds that. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, well, if I just remove YouTube, it got the mo- it got most of it, to be fair. Although Van Sucks at Tech is one word. Um, search for Doug DeMuro. Oh, wait. Doug DeMuro. Whoa, what the hell? Yeah, there we go. There's there's Doug DeMuro's Cybertruck review. Great guy. Love watching his stuff. I mean, for $400, the price that this thing is going for, I'll link it in the description, by the way. It's a good TV. It's not bad at all. And this is... The audio you're hearing right now is coming straight from the TV. Like, no, um... This is the Tesla Cybertruck. And it's the most talked about, most anticipated, most hyped car Speakers are good, actually. Compared to the Hisense, these blow the Hisense out of the water. I'd say they're on par with the Samsung we have. Yeah, good TV. So, I'll leave a link to this TV in the description if you guys want to take a look at it on Amazon, and I'll also leave the Walmart link where we actually got this one from. I've seen some problems with them uh, being damaged in shipping, but this one is not damaged, so I would recommend it. Anyways, see you guys in the next video.